Hello, Hello Floss, Floss Tube, we're, we're the, the Real House Size of Cross Stitch. I'm Priscilla. I'm Chelsea. This is Piper. Presley's having a war with the cat. And <laughs> we're here to talk to you about our stitching this week. We hope you had a great 4th of July. We had Cash's birthday party. He turned five. He had a really good time. Um, I'm exhausted from it, yes. <laughs> um, we- I'm exhausted too. <laughs> <laughs> You're all beat up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Weeding. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's That's got bad. some big plans for her yard tonight. Yeah. Believe it or not, three years later, there's another wedding in the backyard. No, it's not mine. <laughs> One of the brothers is getting married today, yep. so then they're having their reception dinner in mom's garden outside. Mm -hmm. So she's been yep. cleaning that. Yep. I still have to clean my house, so. It's scary. So we're hurrying this video along. Uh, we had questions from last week. 500 cheer girl, what size cloth do you recommend for roundabout ornaments with beaded garland? My face is bleeding. Um, um, probably like a five by five you should be able to stitch it on. Is that what you're talking about? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or maybe six by six if you need more room, but not very much. Barbara, Chelsea, could you please link the gal who did the watercolors of your dogs? Is it still on the stairs? Yes. Okay. Let me, I need to read Is it. Is it card Yeah. Whoa. She doesn't have a website. A couple people asked this question. So it's Esther Hogan and she does pet portraits in watercolor. Her email address is stardust4078 at yahoo.com. S-T-A-R-D-U-S-T. -S -T. And there's Ronnie. She did Layla and Daisy. I have them up in my, um, it's my living room. Cash calls it his gamer room. Mm -hmm. uh, Cause he has his TV There's, there's a little um, table on the stair landing and she sits on a little pedestal there. I need to get a frame for it, but I haven't done that yet. Krista, Krista, thank you for the shoes. I'm wearing them now. Krista, can you tell me the name of the drink you gave me again? Bubblers, uh, antioxidant, caffeinated, natural, bubbler. Not bubbly, Ugh. bubbler, B-U-B-B-L apostrophe R. Uh, Amanda, what does ORT mean? I don't know. Old ready threads. Old ready threads. Just One the ends rear, of your threads that you cut off. The snippets that you usually throw on the ground at the retreat I had. Lots of string on the ground by me. Well, that's why you need these. Yes. The little dishes. Well, she set one up for me, but my, I'm just very used. <laughs> We're not at home. Um, <laughs> Andrea, are you going to have a fall theme pattern for the recipe box series? Ooh. Just hold your horses, Andrea. We just yeah. got the summer one out. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, Jane, can the Mary letters be stitched as one piece? Yeah, they're all the same sure. size. Um, you would just have to figure out your spacing between the letters and keep that uh, throughout yeah. the piece. Karen, you said zucchini casserole somewhere. Where could I find it? On the blog. So go to my blog, and in the upper left-hand corner, there's a search bar. It's tiny. Yeah. But it's there. But it's there in the upper left-hand corner. And just put zucchini in there, and it should bring up different zucchini things. Or if you go to Google and type in zucchini casserole, Priscilla's 2000. It goes in. Every time mom tells me to look at her blog, that's what I have to do. Um, but it's good because th there's a way for them to get all those recipes. She's getting blog views every time. Go to my blog. <laughs> why? I know. I'm kidding. We had the you pulled pork. to write it out every time I got <laughs> That's how I pull up your pulled pork recipe. She wrote it out on like a, on a notebook and I took a, a picture of that. And now every year we have that on Cash's birthday. Um, I don't think what that's on the blog. She's chewing on her foot. Her face, her gums look a little red. Um, okay. But zucchini casserole, somebody put it in the, the Facebook group earlier this week too. I've also added, like, if you want to make it just a meal instead of a side dish, I've asked, also added some Italian sausage in there, like crumpled up, or you could just do like and chunks. just have it over pasta. Yeah, over pasta or just. That. It's a really good way to use a lot of your zucchini. And you can make it all the way up until the end. I, I wouldn't put the cheese on it and put it in a freezer bag. Then in the winter time, take it out, put it in your pan and put the cheese on top, put it in the oven and you got a summery meal. Right. Stop. Jackie, question. Do the wood pieces from Paisley and Poke... I just spit everywhere. 
Do they take a long time to paint? She was asking. We don't paint them. But we've heard that they don't. Yeah, and there's all these people in our Stitching with Housewives group on Facebook that said, oh, I've already got the scale, I've already got it painted, so it must not be hard. So it, I mean, there there's not insanely intricate pieces. I mean, on some of them, there's some small, but just take an well, afternoon to paint. Right, but the thing is that all, it's not like you have to paint orange on top of black. The orange piece is separate from the black piece, from yeah. the white piece, so it's all separate. Cassie, coffee tea dyed and writ dyed a piece of Monaco. They came out gorgeous, but I can't get the wrinkles out. Do you have tips on that? Just start stitching with it. Yep, and use an iron with steam upside down with a towel over it when you finish stitching. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one I didn't know how to do the math. Um, Beth, do you have a tape measure anywhere? No. Okay. Would 25, count, would 25 count Lugana be too large for the weigh-in board? And Will you be releasing the bag to design from the retreat? So you know, need to go to Stitch Etc. Their Facebook page, and they have all the information. Mm -hmm. They are they are doing a bundle with the mm -hmm. um, piece with the bag, so you can contact them. As far as we're not going to be releasing it separately. No, it's theirs. But maybe you know, stay tuned for other things. Um, and then twenty five count Lugana be too large for this board? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like you wouldn't be able to have any backing on it. But yeah, I'm not a hundred percent certain. She has all the measurements for her pieces on her on her website. On her website, or you could there's probably a place where you could ask her a question if you figure out the math to how big it would be to put on there. Right, right. Um, when Mom does her blog post, she puts the back of the chart on the blog post so you can see the stitch count, you can see the stitch size, but the stitch size is on our. Um, 28 count, which would also be the same typically on 14 count because mm -hmm. we stitch over two. Help that helps, Beth. Sorry. <laughs> Those are the questions I have this week. So I thought I would show you this because I actually have a reason to put this one on so we can switch it out. And we'll give away a set of these or a couple sets of these when we. Yeah, so this was in the Reswap 3. It's in the celebrations pack. It yep. comes with, this is like an anniversary or a wedding one. And then yep. there's beach day. There's um, another yeah, a summer, summer one, a school, a graduation. Mm -hmm. Was that it? I don't remember how many we labeled. A happy birthday. Oh, yeah. There's a happy, happy birthday. birthday. Yep. Okay, so this week in the Etsy shop. So that's going up on the wall. Where did it go? We started our Jolly July, and a ton of you are stitching for Jolly July, tagging us in the post. We appreciate mm -hmm. it. We love to see them. This is the first in the roundabout series. This is Hot Cocoa on the Did Hot you see Cocoa that one stand. Stitched on like the turquoise fabric yesterday. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, it was so pretty. Hot Cocoa. Chelsea's checks in the aqua. You have vintage trim under there. This was all done. The painting and stuff was done by Paisleys and polka dots. Did my gingerbread? Oh, he did. He came off. Oh. Gingerbread man, redo. <laughs> okay, then we had the, on Friday's release, we had already done the city for the Dapper Doodad, so we started our new series, Sassy Strippers. <laughs> yeah, there's nobody getting naked or anything. It's just that they're little strips instead of like a big chunk. Yep. So this is the first one, it's Santa and his reindeer. I finished it like an ornament. There's a tutorial on my blog. I didn't put anything on the back though. I should have done that. But anyway, I use those beads that are available in our Amazon shop, and I think it's so cute. And it's so nice because it's a different size to fit on your tree, or you could, you know, put it on something else that you find yeah. to Somebody stick said in your they thought, uh, Santa was directing his reindeer in, like, a <laughs> airport. <laughs> Santa and his reindeer. I did want to name it Santa Stripper, but I changed it, so. <laughs> Stripper Santa. Okay, and... This, this was a free chart, right? For one of our birthdays, I think probably mine. And it's on my blog. So look for that on my blog. What's the name of that one? <laughs> Priscilla's birthday chart. Yeah. A very Merry Christmas to you. We do. A Maybe free, a very Merry Christmas. We do a free chart for my birthday. And we do a free chart for her birthday. Hers is in December. Mine's in November. So you can check my blog for that too. A lot of times we did it for cash. Last too, year, year we did. Oh, <laughs> shoot! We did the the animals, the, farm the farmhouse animals, theme. roundabouts, and these were done on the black. 
And these were done with these wooden beads. Uh, somebody also posted the like flat round circles that they got at Hobby Lobby. That would be a great way to finish them. This is the pig. So we did a pig, a chicken, a sheep. A sheep, a sheep. And what was the other one? That was a cow. Cow. Here's a chicken. So those are available in our Etsy shop. Those will be featured as giveaways later too. And then these were ornaments that we did last year. And these were on white. White Monaco, super cute. Finished the same way with our ornament tutorial. And then these were from Walmart in their like little mini ornament section, so. I'm sure Space Claire did them on black if you wanna see them changed. <laughs> but I used the Aqua, Chelsea's Chucks, our ribbons, and those same beads. And if you haven't thought about stitching along with us for Jolly July, I would heavily think about it because now in December when you go to decorate a tree or something, you have a few ornaments already stitched up and you're ready to go. And this was sleigh rides. This we did for, um, what, what's the one? Jolly Housewives. Jolly Housewives in December with Fat Quarter Shop. So this is also available in our Etsy shop. And Santa's in his sleigh and doing sleigh rides for a quarter. I'd like to have one of those myself. <laughs> a sleigh ride? Mm -hmm. Or a quarter. For a quarter. <laughs> Corner. Okay. What else you got? I don't have, my whips this week were that, and then I finished uh, next week's as well. I think this is so cute. I can't wait to see yours. The strippers. Um, here's my whip. I haven't gotten as much stitching done as I would like to. I need to get this finished, but it's That's adorable. Really cute. Mm -hmm. I haven't looked at that one. This is the... The Stitching Seasons Summer. Yeah. So a lot of you have already stitched it and gotten it, but that's the bag you got. <laughs> I was trying to show you. I've seen it in pictures. I haven't seen it in real life. This morning before the, the video, we actually had a discussion about a retreat for next year. So we're starting for next year's retreats. But here's the... And then the, all the details about how it's finished. I think that there were a few of these extra at Fat Quarter Shop. This is the key, or summer. like a bag pull. Enamel charm. And then you get the backing fabric, you get the stitching fabric and all the floss. Yes. And the cute bag. It's awesome, it's aqua. Fall is done, autumn. Yep. Aut -aut 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 and the, the winter one is all ready to go. So we are on top of one thing. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say that. No, I wouldn't either. <laughs> I would not say that. I wouldn't either. It rained. Finally, it rained. It rained. Yeah, it rained on Cash's birthday. Dang but then, hydrangeas. Yeah, it rained two days ago. And it was some heavy, heavy rain. Heavy rain. Heavy rain. I thought all our gutters were clogged because it was just pouring off of that. But it, it was just coming um, down that quickly. Yeah. Is there one of those cutter things? I had one in the kitchen. No. Do you have a way to cut that? <laughs> That's so in the corner. There is a round kid block. <laughs> so Pet Corner Shop sent us a bunch of black ribbon. Our black ribbon. Yes. And in this set, you get the four different ones. You get the, the ticking stripes in the wide, the ticking stripes in the narrow, the checks in the wide, and the checks in the narrow. So we will give away a couple of these. We today. have some of those to give away too. Creative Carol sent us the cutest bags. I don't know which one I'm keeping. Creative Carol is on Etsy. She makes those um, these bags that we love and then those folios that we use all the time. Look at this. Is that the one you want? Of course. It has pigs and chickens at the state fair looking. And well, then these like That's quilt. the one I wanted. Yeah, well, no, I'm just kidding. I just opened it. So. <laughs> Claimed it on YouTube's first. I never get what I want. Isn't it pretty? So she does an amazing job. Her sewing is impeccable. Yeah, of course you'd want that one. It has all the the... 
And it has a cardinal on it. Cardinal is sitting outside the tree in my window today. <sighs> Would you like me to um, you? Hopefully we'll get to do a garden tour soon before my hydrangeas are totally melted. And um, everything is looking better because of the rain, but the grass is still like pretty crunchy. So, all right. So you have those from Fat Quarter Shop that you're going to give away? I have to do away? my giveaways last week. Oh, okay. All American was the go, roundabout plus the bonus. A lot of you have already stitched that. This goes, okay. Somebody mentioned that YouTube automatically at, okay, added four numbers onto people's stuff. You can change it in your like settings. You don't have to, I'll read them off. But I mean, if you, if your name sounds familiar and you don't think you had those numbers, you probably have those numbers now. Why are, are they giving everybody numbers? I don't know. Anne Roy 8084, D02 Moon, and Leah Gunnels, Leah Dash Gunnels. You won the All American charts. Um, also, I, I um, packed and sent out all the charts two days ago to shops. So shops will start getting them through this weekend into early next week. And you can start uh, going into shops to get the yard sauce, the monthly weigh in September and the Americana bakery. I don't know how many times I've called it patriotic pedestal. It is ingrained in my brain. The hollyhock seeds. A ton of you love that. Uh, Beth Boyce, 7135, Luann Reed, 5539, and Jane Designs. Congratulations. Then we had... She's going to think those are balls. Yard sauce. And this is a paper copy, so make sure that you put in your physical address so I can mail it to you. That's OGG Girl, Janata Chingwa, and Phyllis Zimmerman, 444. Then we had the Americana Bakery. That's coming. Oh, the sleuth just sloths off the chair. This is the Americana Bakery. This is what we did at the Stitch Etc. Retreat. Again, if you wanted to do a whole bundle package with them, they're offering that, and that is at Stitch Etc. on Facebook or Stitch Etc. store in Farmington, Missouri. Uh, Joy Scout 348, Chrissy 5986, Jane Abbey 8044. Then we add the monthly weigh-in. Again, with the monthly weigh-ins, you get the larger scale piece plus the monthly yep. letter. Um, and then with Paisley's and polka dots, and you get next month. You get the scale and you get this white um, board to sit up on top for the, the word. And then these accessories oh. are sold in accessory packs of four little doodads each. Yes, All right, the December one. Here's the October one. And oh, November. Shelly Campus, Eva Dishman 2440, Deidre Allen 78, Deidre Allen 78. Um, and remember, those are physical charts, so make sure that you email me your physical address. Then from Fat Quarter Shop, we had the French lace linen and this was part of the fabric of the month club thank you kimberly and team this goes to wendy banta 2577 and pin to pin 46 then we had the ada which goes to h prieto 0212 and sabrina del cambre we had our cute little ort tray i'm not going to take it out of the package it snaps up to make a little dish it is super cute mm -hmm. this goes to courtney alma pam's 8753 and amy jaworski 1768 uh, include a chart that you would like me to mail to you as well with that these are in at fat quarter shop and i don't think that we ever told you that because they were on the notify me list but the monthly weigh-in key fobs are in at fat quarter shop awesome then we had Kimberly's um, 14 count blue gingham. This goes to Julie McLean 679, Mary Moore 654, and Trish Carpenter 8934. Then the light blue Ada, this is Kimberly's light blue 14 count. That goes to Bev Hackleton 8571, Scarletto.1230, and then Tina 4's 3249. The So Sampler Box. This goes to Corinne Kresha, 3505, and Mary Wilson, 6344. 
Oh my gosh, they all have numbers. Every, every. Sorry, somebody was calling me from Florida. All right, now the fine floss. So floss of the month, fine floss is the bougie floss. This is um, NPI silks. This goes to Scrap Mimi 54 and Robin B 6287 or 81. Robin B, sorry. I was like this. Okay, so those are the winners from last week. Make sure you email me. Our email address is listed below. Make sure you tell me what your YouTube name is, what you want, and a physical address if I need to send it to you. Make sure you tell me what you want, what you want, <laughs> what you want, and a physical address if I need to send you something. All right. This week, the first one is three opportunities to win the, it's the hot cocoa, number one, three opportunities. Number two is three opportunities to win Santa stripper. Oh, here's the little dish I'll put together. That's number two. We were um, at a parade on the 4th of July and there was a, like a blown up Uncle Sam. And Cash is like, oh, Santa's here too. <laughs> some more. All right, number two is uh, Santa Stripper. Three opportunities to win that. Number three is the three. Home. Let's do the home. Three opportunities to win the, uh, you're going to get the home is where the wreath is and you're going to get the re-swap three celebrations. That's number three. Number four is three opportunities to win sweet. Number five. Ho, ho, ho. Number six, joy, joy, joy. Number seven, it's Mary. Number eight is four opportunities to win. These are from Fat Quarter Shop. They are a Christmas Santa's Bake Shop stitch along. You get the really cute fabric. It's like a snowflaked blue Ada, you get the fancy floss that you need. Everyone needs fancy floss. A cute needle minder. And the bag, that's number eight. So the pattern you would have to buy separately. Yes. I think it's um, like a... Uh, yeah, when, where you get one a week. Yes, yes. Mystery? Or one, a, one a month. No, or I think whatever. it's one a week. Okay. Um, so number eight is four opportunities to win that. Yeah, five opportunities to win that. And then number nine, we've shown this one before, is uh, five opportunities to win the Halloween one. So you get the, it's a mystery haunted Halloween. You get the fabric, the floss. And the bag. The bag and the needle minder and the enamel charm. Five opportunities to win that. Okay. And number 10 is three opportunities to win the Box ribbon set. Ribbon. Yeah. The whole set of black ribbons. Four ribbons. Okay. What are you going to answer today? I'm Ooh. out of breath. Oh, so what I wanted to say is in our Stitching with the Housewives group, for all of you that are stitching the monthly weigh-in, as soon as you start it, please put a post in our group because we'd love to see them. Yeah, and we'll start um, picking a few winners. Mm -hmm. We're going to do some random giveaways from now until the end of the year yeah, as far yeah, as group. Facebook postings. Yes. Yeah. Um, we might even share some things at the end of the video as far as finishes and whatnot mm -hmm. just to get them out there. But as more. soon as you get some stitches put in it, post it. We'd love to see it. Minimum three stitches. <laughs> Minimum three Let's stitches. Let's do a few more than three. Let's do Minimum like three. ten. Minimum three. <laughs> Julie counts all of her stitches. I don't know how. Yes. I can't even count two stitch. I don't know how I would count my stitches. Like she is so organized and she can count all of her stitches. She knows how many stitches she's done. So everybody keep their fingers crossed that everything goes as planned today. So that I don't have a nervous breakdown. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. Um, but what question are they going to answer? So we asked you last week what you were stitching for Jolly July. Tell us something funny. Tell us, like, if you were having a party and you had disaster strike and it's now funny or something just funny. Tell us something funny. Or tell us something that you've watched us do that you thought was funny. We need to laugh. 
<laughs> Wait, that's kid. still fireworks from our party. Yeah. <laughs> oh, doggy. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> it's a lot. He was uh, a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. Okay, well, we appreciate you spending your time with us. We hope that you get some stitching in this weekend. Uh, stay tuned for pictures. I'm sure she'll post them. Yep. Again, for um, those that need it, stardust4078 at yahoo.com. For the Ronnie painting. For the Ronnie painting the water. She does a fantastic job. Mm -hmm. Fantastic job. Yeah, it's like when I walk down the stairs and I see her, it's, it's like she's still here. Yeah. It looks just like her. So anyway, we we thank you all for joining us. Follow us on Instagram at Priscilla Blaine at Chelsea356, Priscilla's2000 on Facebook at Priscilla's2000.blogspot.com where you can see more of everything that we are up to. And I got to go pick up a cake. I got to pick up some chairs. We got to set up some tables and then she's got to go and do her thing. And I got to figure out how to clean my house too. <laughs> she <a> hired a maid. <laughs> <sighs> All right. We'll see you guys next week. Oh, we'll probably do a garden tour sometime next week too. So you can stay tuned for that. Oh, also next week, um, both of us are going to be out of town. So we're not sure whether we're going to have a video on Saturday. We might have a video on Monday instead. Not this next Monday, but the Monday after. No. Tuesday. Oh, because you're going to be gone still? Um, Most likely. We're going to try to do Noah's Ark on not a weekend. Okay. Um, all right. So we might do it before. Th we're going to have a video. We're j it just might be delayed. We'll we'll update the um, YouTube Yeah, if, thing. if we can't make it happen for Saturday, then we'll let you know when it will just be. Just don't worry. We're okay. Yeah. Everyone's okay. <laughs> Everyone's okay. All right. So have a, all great, right, bye. Have a great weekend. And <laughs> we'll see you in a year. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now we gotta clean up this mess. All right. All right bye. bye.